Like Lenovo and Asus showed us, there is no issue in making a business-centric device capable of gaming. Dell is the next manufacturer that enables ray tracing abilities on such laptops, which in this case is the Vostro 157510. We were as surprised and happy to see that Dell went for 45 watts Tiger Lake processors for this device. This leads us to think that it has something interesting going on with the cooling solution. We will learn more about that later in the review. First, let's pay some attention to the build quality. Honestly, the laptop looks super sleek with its all-aluminum design. It weighs only 1.9 kilos and has a profile of 19 millimeters. This didn't stop it from improving its structural integrity, as it passed 15 military-grade tests. In addition, the lid acts as a lever to lift the base from the ground, which ultimately results in a better airflow to the fans. Thankfully, the input devices are also great. Well, the input-output here is pretty appropriate for the device, with two USB Type-A, an HDMI 2.0, Thunderbolt 4 connector, and an SD card reader. There is more good news on the inside, as you get two RAM SOTOM slots, as well as two M.2 slots for storage. Keep in mind though, that one of the slots only fits 30mm drives. On the other hand, the 80mm slot supports 4th generation SSDs, which is great. You can take a look at our teardown video to see how to open the device. We were a bit worried that the display quality is going to spoil the party. Thankfully, this was not the case, as the 1080p IPS panel has comfortable viewing angles, a good contrast ratio, and an excellent color coverage of 91% of sRGB. This provides a really punchy image, while our gaming and web design profile helps it achieve standard matching color accuracy. Also, working for long periods of time won't be an issue, because the display doesn't use PWM for brightness adjustment. Only 2 per 100 people watching this video are subscribers. If you decide to just start following us, we'll be able to reinvest more in our laboratory thus making even more helpful videos for you. Thank you, you're awesome. While we were impressed with the screen, it was disappointing to find that the battery lasts for only 6 hours of web browsing, or about 7 hours of video playback. There is no way it will last you through an entire workday. The top configuration here is pretty capable with its Core i7-11800H and RTX 3050Ti. Here, we have a 65 watts RTX 3050. Indeed, it is a pretty low power graphics card, but you will be happy to know that you can play Ghost Recon Wildlands with 62 FPS at very high settings and 1080p resolution. Shadow of the Tomb Raider, on the other hand, runs with 70 FPS at high settings and the same resolution. I was hoping you would say that. She's got the shield! Shoot! Unfortunately, the thin chassis can't cope well with the load during gaming. First of all, the fans are really noisy, but what is more concerning is the temperature of the keyboard. It exceeds 50 degrees Celsius, which is not ideal for your fingers. It is better if you want to warm up your lunch, though. At the end of the day, you are left with a pretty decent machine. We can't overlook its design features, great input devices, and amazing display. It is rare that we find such a complete package these days. However, there is one issue with the laptop, and it is not the cooling, but the insulation layer between the motherboard and the keyboard. If Dell manages to fix this issue and improve the battery life for the next generation, it would make the Vostro 15 irresistible. If you want to see the rest of the tests and more details about the device, you can check out our in-depth review. The link is in the video description below.